Hey there, so today I want to talk about a handy checklist that you can use of questions to help you figure out if you are just having kind of a bad day or if you are starting into a whole emotional spiral that you're gonna need to crawl back up out of. So first, here's first set of questions. First, do you tend to notice the first day you feel down or does it take you two or three days? And if it takes you a little while, what usually brings it to your attention? Is it level of energy? Is it the way that you slept? Is it your mood? What is it that makes you feel that way? If you've noticed that you're starting to feel down and you're wondering, hey, am I like spiraling into some kind of down depression or am I just having a bad couple of days? Ask yourself, has anything happened in the past week that could be causing me to feel low that I need to just stop and deal with and address it and take care of it? If you're female and you are premenopausal, ask yourself, hey, should I check the calendar? Is there a reason physically related to my cycle that I might be feeling really tired or emotional as I am getting ready to start my period over the next couple of days? Is that possibly why I'm feeling low right now? Another question, am I approaching the anniversary of a past trauma? Now, if you haven't mapped out your past traumas, now's the time to do that. I'm actually working on some resources that can help with that, that I should be coming out with sometime soon. But if you haven't already mapped out when the big hard things happened to you, definitely do that because our body remembers when those things happened. And it is crazy. I can't tell you how many times for me or for my coaching clients that I have had someone excuse me, tell me I had a horrible day this week. And then I went back and I realized it was the three year anniversary of XYZ thing that happened to me that was deeply painful to the day my body remembered. It happens. It's a real thing. So ask yourself, am I approaching or is it the anniversary of a past trauma? And if so, what kind of grace and compassion can I give myself while my body remembers what happened in the past? Ask yourself, have I been consistent with my sleep, with my hydration, with my movement and exercise and with my nutrition? If you've been slacking off in any of those areas for whatever reason, it's possible that all you need is a great bottle of water. Maybe you need some electrolytes. Maybe you're dehydrated. Maybe you just need 12 hours of uninterrupted sleep or six if you have small children, whatever you can manage to get. Maybe you just need a nap. Ask yourself, am I under more stress than usual at home, work, or church? A lot of times we don't bother to notice. We just take stuff on and we don't even realize exactly how high our stress level has gotten until all of a sudden we're crashed flat out. Don't, oh, like me. I mean, hey, you know, fighting cancer and all that stuff. Yeah, be kind to yourself. Ask yourself if you're under more stress than usual. And if you are, if the answer is yes, then ask, is there any way that I can eliminate some of it somewhere, something? Ask yourself another question. Are there any internal dissonances that I'm trying to process subconsciously? Is there anything that doesn't make sense in my world and my brain is processing it even though my body keeps on going normal? Ask yourself this other question. Is there anything I should be processing that I'm trying to pretend like it doesn't exist? A lot of times we do that. We act like everything is perfectly peachy and we just keep going even though our brain is fried on overdrive underneath everything, trying to figure out something that doesn't make sense. It will take a toll on your body, absolutely. So sometimes those bad days just stay a few bad days and you pull back out of them. 
other times those bad days turn into a spiral, an emotional spiral, and it gets much harder to pull back out of them. How do we keep it to a bad day or two or three instead of going into an emotional spiral? Here's a few more questions you can ask yourself to help with that. Ask yourself, what are my distorted mentalities or lies that I am telling myself that could make this day turn into a spiral? For example, you had a really rough day at work. Something didn't go the way you wanted to. If you come home and you start telling yourself, this always happens, I'm never going to be able to perform well enough at work. Everyone else there knows more than me. I'm totally an imposter. I can't do it. I can't keep up. Then you are very likely going to take those thoughts, turn them into feelings, and then it will become a full-on spiral. Or you can go home and ask yourself, what is the truth about my situation? The truth about my situation is that I try really hard, and today I made a mistake. And tomorrow, I'm going to go back and I'm going to work on fixing that mistake. And it's going to be okay. That's the truth. Ask yourself, what am I pressuring myself about that may not actually really be a big deal? How am I adding to my own anxiety with unrealistic expectations? How am I adding to my own pressure? Am I adding, here's another one, to my own spiritual frustration by being super hard on myself and feeling disconnected with God? And then am I berating myself for my struggles instead of relaxing into God's love and asking him to help me figure it out? We do that way too much, girls. We do it. Ask yourself, am I at peace with being able to do what I am just able to do? Or am I holding myself to a mental, unreasonable standard of performance or productivity. I've been there. I have done that. Ask yourself, am I carrying someone else's emotional suitcase right now? And if I am, why am I doing that? And why have I not put that down and let them be responsible for it? And last question, ask yourself, am I refusing to carry my own emotional suitcases right now? And if I am, why? Because those are my responsibility. And I can't heal if I'm not taking responsibility for my own emotional stuff. Those are my questions. There's probably more that you could ask. And if you think of more, drop them underneath. I'm totally going to turn this into a checklist and stuff so that you can use it. Because it's super awesome to help us remind ourselves that sometimes it's okay to have a bad day or a string of bad days. It doesn't have to become an emotional spiral, especially if we take proactive steps to figure out what's going on in our head, our heart, and our body early on when we realize what's happening. If you loved this, please share it, pass it on, give it to somebody, post it on your page, do all the things, give it some love underneath, and uh, thank you for your prayers as I go through my own health journey. And I am praying for you in everything that you are going through too. And if, like I said, if you have a comment or a question, drop it underneath. We'll try to get to it. And if you liked it or loved it, please show it. We love you too.